Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Technology. And today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to dual boot Kali Linux with Windows 11. So you just need to follow me. So at first, you just need to go to your browser, and here you just need to type kali.org. Now on this website, you just need to click on download. Now scroll down, and here you will get a installer, everything, and weekly version. So here on this window, you just under installer you will get a normal download and torrent download button so i will use normal download option and as you can see it's downloading now after that you just need to download rufus portable uh, tool on your computer after that you just need to create one partition for that you just need to right click on your start menu and go to desk management and here you just need to sync one volume so i will sync from my a drive so right click and click on string and here i will put like near about 30 gb and after that click on string and now you just need to double click on rufus click on yes now insert your pen drive and select your pen drive from this option click on select here and select the ISO file after that you can change the volume name over here and after that click on start now click on ok on this window and click on yes it will format your pen drive totally click on ok once it will done you just need to restart your PC and boot from your uh, bootable DVD or pen drive now you just need to press your boot menu key from your keyboard and after that here you just need to choose USB now here you will get a two option which is graphical install and install so select here graphical install and follow my steps now here if you are getting this error firmware error then just select here no and click on continue also select here no and click on continue now here you just need to put your username Kalin Alex username I will put here technology and I will click on continue now on this window I just need to put my password and after that click on continue now here you just need to select manual now select the free space and here you just need to, need to click on automatically all partition now click on continue after that select here finish and click on continue now here you just need to select here yes after that click on continue now it will take some time to install now continue to reboot after that press your boot menu key and you just need to log in Kali Linux so I hope this quick tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.